Hey, is this thing on? <laughs> hey, Sid, what do you say? What you want to learn today? I want to know why things happen and how and want to know everything now. Oh, yeah. How does this thing work? Why does that stuff change? How does that do what it just did? Hmm, what's up with the sky? You think I could fly? The world is spinning and I want to know why. I got a lot of questions and big ideas. I'm Sid, the science kid. And he dribbles the ball around the field. Can nobody stop him? Oh, somebody tries, but he fails. And Sid gets passed. Goes for a goal! Yay! Oh, hi, I'm Sid. I'm just practicing because today after school, my dad and I are going to play soccer, and he's going to teach me some super cool new moves. <laughs> yep, we're going to have a special dad day. Woohoo! And look! It's a perfect day for soccer. Nice and warm and sunny outside. Hmm, oh, but that means mom and dad are gonna make me wear sunblock. <gasps> Wah, bam! Isn't that right, Dr. Beaks? <laughs> oh, it's all ooey and gooey and slimy, and it seems like it takes forever to put on. You know what I'm talking about, right? Hmm. <laughs> And no matter how much I try to get away from Dad's sunblocky hands, <laughs> he always catches me. And then I have sticky, icky sunblock all over me. Hmm, I just gotta know. What's the big idea with the sun? Why do I have to put on sunblock? Sunblock! Hey, breakfast time! Oh, boy. I can't wait for <laughs> breakfast time! You're just in time. I've got some sunblock for you. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, here I come. Mr. Sunblock Hands. <laughs> um, oh, no. <laughs> Stay away. <laughs> ah, gotcha. <laughs> oh, sorry, Sid. Ugh. I just don't want you to get too much sun today and not feel good for a special day outside. Ow. After school, I'm going to show you a new move that I call... Dad's Dynamite Dino Stop and Kick. Ooh, that sounds cool. Yeah. Hey, wait a minute. One time you told me that the sun is good for me. Oh, well, some sunlight is good for you, Sid. But too much sunlight can be harmful. Hmm, okay. But I spend a lot of time under the lights at home and at school. So why don't I have to wear sunblock there? Oh, good question, Sid. At school and inside the house, we have a roof that blocks the sun. That's right, Sid. And the light from the sun is much more powerful than light from a regular old light bulb. Oh, I thought light was just light. Hmm, I'm going to investigate more about the sun at school. Well, before you go, you'd better have some breakfast. You're gonna need lots of energy today for our special dad day! <laughs> yeah. oh, it's gonna be so great. I love my mom. Uh -huh. My mom is cool. Uh -huh. But now it's time for having fun in school. Yeah! <laughs> Hi. I'm looking for my friends. I'm looking for you. There's Gabriella. Watch what I can do. For you. Hey, there's Cheryl. Yeah, check out my moves. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Oh. <laughs> I'm a dancing machine. Cool. I'm looking for my friends. I'm looking for you. Hey, there's May. Uh, may I show you how I groove? the kid who wanted to know everything about everything? That's you!
and now it's time for the Sid survey. Hello, I am Sid, roving reporter with today's survey. The question, what does the sun do? And maybe you can think about what the sun does too. Let's go get some answers. Hey, Gabriella. Hello, Sid. I have a question for you. What does the sun do? Oh, uh, hmm. I think the sun makes things hot because whenever I go to the beach, the sun shines on the sand and it makes the sand hot and it's hard to walk on. Uh-oh, what do you do? Oh, well, I just walk on the sand really, really fast like this. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hot, 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 sand, 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 hot, sand, hot, sand. <laughs> oh, uh, but now I wear sandals at the beach so I don't feel the hot sand. Oh, that's a good idea. Thanks, Gabriella. Sure thing. <laughs> Make the biggest sand mountain in the world. Hey, yeah. Gerald. Oh, oh, hi, Sid. Hey, I have a question for you. Yes? What does the sun do? Oh, okay, so um, I think the sun makes plants grow because my mom put her geraniums in the window yeah. and then the sun shines on them and they get bigger. Cool, yeah. good answer, Gerald. Thank you, Sid. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, how about you, May? What do you think the sun does? Oh, I think the sun melts the snow. When I go to my grandma's house in Chicago, it's really cold and snowy there. <laughs> and when the sun comes out, it melts the snow. Hmm, <laughs> melting snow. Yeah. Cool, thanks, May. You're welcome. And now, the results of my survey. Gabriella says the sun makes the sand at the beach hot. Gerald says the sun makes plants grow. And May says that the sun melts the snow. And maybe you thought about what the sun does too. Well, there you have it. I am Sid, roving reporter and sun expert. Everybody, rug time. Ooh, that's teacher Susie. It's rug time, come on in. Rug time, take a seat. Rug time, we're ready. Everybody move your feet. Rug time, teacher Susie. Good times on the way. Rug time, come on in. We've got a lot to learn today. Surf's up, Ka yeah, I'm surfing. <laughs> Go yeah. surf on over to the rug, big guy. Okay. Whoa, whoa, this is a big wave. Watch out, everybody, here I come. Whoa. <laughs> okay, does anyone have anything they'd like to share with the class? Oh, yeah, I do. <laughs> Go ahead, Sid. Well, I'm really excited because today is a special dad day. My dad's going to teach me some new soccer moves after school. Oh, 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 it sounds like you're going to have a really fun time with your dad today. Yeah, the only problem is before we go out to play, my mom and dad always make me put on sunblock. Oh, no. Yeah. You don't like putting on sunblock? Well, it kind of takes a long time to put on. Yeah, it does. Susie, why can't we just start playing instead of putting on sunblock? Well, let's see. Has anyone ever spent time in the sun without using sunblock? Oh, I did once when my family went to the park and we forgot our sunblock. Oh no, what happened, May? Well, we played in the park all day and by the end of the day, I started feeling all really hot. And then a little later, my face and neck were bright red, and I didn't feel very good at all. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, May. Yeah. Does anyone know what happened to May when she spent too much time in the sun? Oh, I know. She got a sunburn. Very good, Gabriella. You see, the sun does lots of wonderful things for us, but too much sunlight can give us a sunburn. And sunblock is great protection against getting a sunburn. Protection? You mean it's protection for our skin? Exactly. Hey, I know a great place to investigate how sunblock protects your skin. <gasps> the the Super Fab Lab! That's right, <laughs> grab your journals and let's go! Super Fab Lab! Observe! Ah! OK, 
Okay, it's time for the Sunblock Investigation. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> We're all going to find out just how Sunblock helps to protect our skin from the sun. Oh. First, let's protect this paper from the sun. You're going to take this Sunblock and put it onto the paper. Oh, Susie, can we make pretty designs on the paper with our Sunblock? Yeah, like a fire truck or a, a baby donkey. <laughs> <laughs> sure you can. Then, after you put lots of sunblock on the paper, we're going to put the paper outside all day long. Oh, all day long? This paper's going to get a lot of sun on it. It sure is, Gabriella. Normally, when construction paper is left in the sunlight all day, it becomes damaged and its color begins to fade. Wow, the sun can make the paper lose its color? That's right, Sid. But we're going to see what happens to the paper with sunblock on it and without sunblock. So go ahead, scientists. Put some sunblock on the paper. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're a scientist. You can try this, too. It's time to do the sunblock investigation. First, put sunblock on your paper. You can get as creative as you want with your designs, as long as you make sure to put plenty of sunblock on the paper. You can make shapes like circles, squares, and triangles. Next, put the paper in sunlight, and we can find out what happens if we leave it there for the rest of the day. Now, let's make some predictions. Draw pictures of what you think your paper will look like after it's been in the sun all day. If paper usually fades and loses its color in sunlight, do you think the sunblock will protect the paper so it doesn't fade? Okay, scientists, let's make some predictions. What's going to happen to the paper after it's out in the sun all day? May, can we start oh, with you? Okay. Um, I predict that the sunblock will protect the paper so it stays the same color. I think my smiley face will stay bright blue, just like the paper is right now. Great prediction, May. We'll have to see if you're right. Okay. Sid, how about you? Um, okay. Well, I predict that these cool circles that I drew with sunblock will protect the paper from the sun. And then I also drew a soccer ball because I'm really excited about playing soccer in the sun with my dad after school. Oh, I know you're going to have fun, Sid. <laughs> <laughs> okay, scientists, while the paper's out here in the sun, you can all go play with all your new ideas. Yay! Yay! Yeah. <laughs> it's time for Good, Good Afternoon! <laughs> Son, you already have a dad. I know. Gerald, uh, son. Like, sun up in the sky. Um... Oh, the sun! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> okay, yeah, I get it. Uh, let's do it again. Okay, great. Okay. Knock, knock. Who's there? Son. Hello, son. Daddy loves you. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's sunny. I mean, funny. Let's play Sun Says. Okay. I have the sun hat on, so I'll be the sun. Great. It's just like Simon Says, except you do what the sun says. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, and those blocks will be your pretend sun block. Okay. Okay. All right, let's play. Sun Says, put sun block on your arms. Okay. Sun Says, put sun block on your tummy. <laughs> tummy. <laughs> sun Says, put sun block on your legs. Okay. Sun Says, put sun block on your feet. Oh, feet. Hop on one foot. Uh, hopping. <laughs> oh, I didn't say sun says. Oh. You're out, Gerald. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Oh, sorry, Gerald. Sun says. Yeah. yeah. 
Rub some duck all over your whole body. Oh boy. There, all, all done. done. Oh, you forgot to put some duck on your nose. Oh. You can't forget your nose. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's time for a new game. Chef says. Chef says make lots of yummy pancakes and let Gerald eat them. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, come back. The chef is hungry. <laughs> and now it's time for Susie to sing. Go, Susie! Oh, wow. <laughs> Thank you. Well, you know, we've been talking a lot about the sun giving us sunburns, but the sun also does lots of wonderful things for us and for our planet. Uh -huh. In fact, the sun does so many great things, it's almost like a, a superhero! Superhero! <laughs> Put your sunblock on. Oh, okay. okay. Sunblock. All over. Sunblock, rubber, rubber. sunblock dance. <laughs> Super Sun! Super Sun, Super Sun, the super guy, he gets the job done. When it comes to energy, he's number one. Our superhero, Super Sun. He turns on the heat, he turns on the light. He shines all day, never sleeps at night. He does so many powerful things, it would take all day to list them. He's the hot shot who puts the solar in the solar system. Super Sun, Super Sun, the super guy, he gets the job done. When it comes to energy, he's number one. Our superhero, Super Sun. His power is hot. He can melt the snow, he gives the energy that helps the plants grow. He sends his rays for days and days to soak up on the beaches. You can feel his heat and energy everywhere he reaches. He's part of the beautiful sunrise that happens every dawn. He's so powerful, you better put your sunblock on. Super Sun, Super Sun, the super guy, he gets the job done. When it comes to energy, he's number one. Our superhero, Super Sun. Our superhero, Super Sun. Our superhero, Super Sun. Great. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, I want to be the Super Sun so I can keep the Earth warm. And help plants make nutrients so they can grow and shine so we can see during the day. Yeah. Hey, speaking of the sun, let's go to the playground and see what the sun did to your construction paper. Okay, okay. let's go. Let's go. Come on, mate. <laughs> okay, scientists, let's make some observations. Okay. <laughs> now, this is a new piece of paper from inside that's never been in the sun. Does anyone see a difference between this paper and our paper? Uh, oh, the paper that was in the sun is lighter. That's right, Gabriella. It faded. <laughs> oh, and look! Where we put the sunblock, the paper stayed the same. Um, see, uh, my square here is the same color as the new paper. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hey. Yeah, and the sunblock protects the paper, just like it protects our skin. You got it, scientists. Wow, it sounds like we have some sunblock experts here. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. Okay, let's go inside and get your backpacks. It's time to go home. Yay! Yay! I'm gonna go get my backpack. Hey, scientists, let's see what happened to your paper, too. Okay, let's discover what happened to the paper. It's been in the sun for a long time. Wow, the shapes on the paper with sunblock didn't lose their color. The sunblock protected the shapes so the color didn't fade. But look at the area without sunblock. The sun is so strong that it faded the paper. It actually changed its color. This part of the paper was covered, so it was protected and didn't lose its color. Hey, if the sunblock protected the paper, think about how well it can protect your skin, too. Hats and sunglasses also help protect you from the sun. Now you're ready to go play and have a great time in the bright, beautiful sun. Now where's my seed? Oh, right here, Grandma. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Mm -hmm. Now, okie doke, let's roll. Let's roll. <laughs> <laughs>
was your day? Oh, it was great. I learned that you need sunblock to protect your skin from the sun. Oh, that's right, Sid. You know, people have been trying to protect their skin from the sun for a really long time. As far back as ancient Egypt, people were trying not to get sunburns. Back then, the Egyptians blocked out the sun by holding up giant leaves to keep themselves cool and in the shade. As time went on, people all over the world started using little umbrellas called parasols that weren't for blocking rain, but for blocking out the sun and keeping their skin nice and healthy. And while women were riding in wagon trains in the wild, wild west, they wore a big hat called a sunbonnet. And my favorite way to get out of the sun, sitting under a nice shady tree. <laughs> wow, Grandma, you know so many ways not to get a sunburn. Oh, well, now you do too. <laughs> and I bet you're excited to play in the sun with your dad. That's right. <laughs> my grandma's the best. I learned something cool, something cool today. I know it upside down and inside out. I learned all about <laughs> the sun. <laughs> Scientist in the house. Yeah. All righty. I'm ready to go. Oh, I am too. I just finished putting on a fresh coat of sunblock. So now I'll be protected from the sun the whole time we play. Hey, good thinking, Sid. So, are you ready to learn Dad's Dynamite Dino Stomp and Kick? I sure am. I've been waiting all day. I know, me too. <laughs> okay, it goes like this. Okay. <laughs> I think I might need a new RAR. Um, hey, Dad, can I try? Oh, sure, Sid. Great. Yeah, let me get the ball. Okay. Coming your way. Get on over. Ha <laughs> Go for it, Sid. Okay, here we go. Sid. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Hey, this is the best dad day ever. I really like playing soccer with you, Dad. Oh, thanks, Sid. You know what? Hmm? I like playing soccer with you, too. <laughs> hey, Dad, here's my super Sid sunblocker move. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm Let's gonna stand see. in front of the goal Yeah. and make myself as big as the sun, and you, you try to kick it and I'll block it. All righty. You ready? Yeah. Here comes. Ready? Ah! <laughs> Yay! Good job, buddy. Wow, what a day. <laughs> I learned that sunblock protects your skin so you won't get a sunburn when you play outside. And you know what? I was out in the sun all day playing soccer with my dad, and I feel great thanks to sunblock. Woohoo! <laughs> mm, he shoots and he scores. Go! Yeah! You see that, guys? I'm awesome. Yeah. I just wish it didn't take so long to put sunblock on. Hmm. Okay. I've got it. Here's my super duper ooper schmooper. Big idea. I will invent the super sunblock blaster. It's like a mini car wash that you can step into and get blasted by a layer of sunblock all over your body. And then when you step out, you go into a big dryer, and it dries its sunblock right there on the spot. The best part is, it only takes one second. Everyone in the world will have a super sunblock blaster. Little kids, hi. Grown-ups going to work, business, business. Guys that sell hot dogs, get your hot dogs. Ooh, sunblock. Soccer players, kick, 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 kick. Ice skaters, clowns, hoo, hoo, ha, ha, tickle, tickle. Everybody. No one in the whole world will ever get a sunburn again thanks to the Super Sunblock Blaster. And that's my super duper uber schmooper big idea. Woohoo! Thank you, thank you. <laughs> hey guys, don't forget, until I invent the Super Sunblock Blaster, be sure to keep putting on sunblock the old fashioned way. I know I will, because I am Sid, the Science Kid. Remember, keep asking lots and lots of questions. 
See you later, scientists. <laughs> so, can you guys use plenty of sunblock today? Yeah? Good job, guys. I'm proud of you. your PBS Kids friends on your local PBS station and the free PBS Kids video app. Also subscribe to the PBS Kids Prime video channel.